Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have a new and special guest with us, Brad Nickel. Brad is CEO of Liberty One Lithium, which can be traded as LBY on the TSX Venture and as LRTTF on the OTC. Thanks, Brad, for being here with us today. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Brad, talk to us about your background. I, I know that you have a lot of experience with some of the major oil companies, and you've recently come in as CEO of Liberty One. What has gotten your interest in the lithium sector and especially in Lithium One? Sure. Um, well, a little bit on, on my background. I, I, uh, I'm a mechanical engineer, so I'm technically grounded in a sense, uh, but very operationally grounded as well. Uh, I worked for Schlumberger, the world's largest oil and gas service company, for about 10 years in many different countries all over the world. Uh, my initial roles were technical. I was a reservoir engineer, uh, but went on to run different operations in different countries, including South America, just uh, just north of Argentina. Um, I then left Schlumberger. I did an MBA at London Business School, um, and I worked, continued to work in London for uh, or after the MBA, and then I was transferred to New York with the, the firm that I was with. <clears throat> um, I've also worked outside of the oil and gas sector um, on different projects. I've been a bit of an entrepreneur in the past. Uh, I worked on not just oil and gas exploration projects, but also heavy infrastructure, uh, pipeline projects, gas plants, batteries, water handling plants. So, you know, heavy equipment, heavy industry, things that are, I would say, somewhat common with what's going on in the lithium space. Uh, I've been involved in public companies, private companies in Canada, the U.S., and the U.K. Um, some helium uh, work where I did a, a design of a helium purification and liquefaction plant. And also uh, we did a uh, – while well, we funded, designed, engineered, and did all the work around an $800 million iron-making facility. So to sum it up, I think my career has been focused mostly on kind of technical and operational roles. I've also done a lot of financing and, and raised a lot of money. Um, I've done that all over the world. And so I've got a great network of institutional finance professionals with a, a solid footing in technical and operationals uh, and operations. With respect to Liberty One, <clears throat> uh, clearly the, the, uh, the lithium space is hot. Um, Having been involved in small startup oil and gas companies, I know that a lot of small companies are going to fail, um, and we can get into that later as to why. I, I fundamentally think one of the big reasons is they just don't have the, the capital um, and they don't have the wherewithal or the sophistication around capital management. Um, but nonetheless, I recognize that, that – um, Liberty One, after doing a couple of months of uh, due diligence on the company specifically and, and of course, doing some research on the industry, uh, I found Liberty One was um, fantastic. And ultimately, for me, Liberty One was uh, – it's all about the Positos property in Argentina that attracted me. It's the key asset for me. It's – it's really the reason that I joined the company. It's also the main reason why I made such a significant personal investment in the company. The team at Liberty One had, previous to me joining, negotiated a fantastic deal to secure a huge acreage, uh, 40,000 acres of land on the Positos West property. And that is in the heart of the global sweet spot for lithium, uh, the, the famous lithium triangle. <clears throat> um, and one of the things that you want to do when you're exploring for a resource is you want to start ticking boxes or eliminating risk with the, the least amount of capital expenditure as possible. And so an easy first thing to do is look around at your neighbors. And, uh, and we've done that in a sense. We're like the last available lot on the best lithium street in the world. So within that big lithium triangle, Within about 40 kilometers of our property, we see several very positive lithium discoveries and even lithium production. So we're, we're perfectly on trend. And that was, 
you know, that's a, that's an easy way. Closeology, I call it an easy way to, to kind of dip your toe and to see if you're in the general right area. So to summarize that we're in not only the big lithium triangle, which is the world's best address for lithium. Uh, we're in, if you narrow that down to a, say within 40 kilometers or about 30 miles of, of where we are, we're in the best of the best. So it's a fantastic uh, spot to be. Um, so they both, the, the team before me ticked a bunch of the boxes, um, but but really another reason that I wanted to join Liberty One and and make that big investment was the team that they have are a well-established group of uh, I would call them the Argentinian lithium experts. We got to benefit from their years of experience in our very own Solar that we're pursuing, and also in other nearby properties. They have extensive experience operationally, technically, uh, in the lab, doing a bunch of testing, drilling, production, processing, permitting. They've gone through all the environmental permitting processes with the the new government in Argentina. Uh, They're close with the government. They're close with the regulators. They know exactly what's going on. We, you know, I I got to inherit a dream team, which really uh, was a savior for me. It not only for me personally, but for the company. Uh, it would normally take years to build a team of this stature um, that has, has all this experience. And so, you know, these guys hit the ground running before I even joined the company. It was another attractor that I just could not ignore. And it stood out for me as, a, you know, at least one of the reasons why I needed to, to get in early at this stage um, and, and join Liberty One. So, Brad, talk to us about what work has been done on the property so far and what will the next steps be? I guess hopefully you'll drill the property later this year. Yeah, so what we've done so far is uh, other than what I mentioned earlier, the closeology, which is free. You look around at your neighbors. Um, but what we've just started is called uh, vertical electrical soundings or VES. Uh, VES is a fantastic technology. Actually, I wouldn't say developed by Schlumberger, my old company, but they developed a lot of the complex math around it. Um, But really what VES is, is it sends electrical pulses into the ground and it measures the resistivity that those those pulses or that electrical current uh, incurs. So it, it gives you, paints a picture of the layers of zones beneath the surface. And it also tells us if any of those zones are conductive because the first thing we're looking for here is brine, uh, salt water. And if there is salt water, then you may have lithium, lithium. We're, we're pursuing lithium brine here. Um, and so we need to, to determine if there is brine. Um, and so that's what we're undertaking right now. Uh, that VES survey should be completed this month. Uh, we should have the results out, and I'd love to to be talking about that now. But we've got to wait a little bit until we got all all of those results in. <clears throat> the next steps, once we we have that, um, we would then look at a, a drilling program. We would probably drill a small handful of of uh, holes, and those would be really we would be looking for again on the assumption that we find brine then we would be looking for lithium within that brine and that's done through through the the drilling program so we would drill these holes we would take core samples we would take brine samples Uh, the core will give us an idea of what's there structurally or geologically um, how thick the zones are what permeability is what porosity is that kind of thing and then the brine samples will allow us to pull out you know the lithium we can see what the concentrations are we can see uh, what the ratio, how, how much magnesium is there. So we can really start to get into the chemistry. Um, and once we have all of that, we can then start to really focus in on the areas of highest potential. So we'll get the biggest bang for our buck by, by you know, doing a, an even bigger drilling program in areas where we feel there's, there's higher potential. The property is huge. It's going to be a, a massive undertaking to, uh, to go after all of it. So we'll focus on the pockets of highest potential first and expand from there. So ultimately what I hope to get to is a, a point where we've got measured and inferred resources on a, on a corner of the property even would be huge, but knowing that there would still be 
you know, 80% say uh, of the property that would still not have measured and inferred resources. Um, so that's all blue sky and we've got it all under our control today. And Brad, as we conclude here, you mentioned something earlier in the conversation, which is very important about having the capital to move forward. And Liberty One has done a very good job. You've raised over, I believe, six million um, to date. And so talk to us about the financial situation and the sponsorship. What makes Liberty One in a position of strength to move forward? I'm going to, if you don't mind, Jeb, I'm going to expand on that just a tiny bit. I don't want to take too much time, but for me, there are three things that make Liberty One uh, or are going to make Liberty One a huge success. And they're part of what has led to the success we've had so far. Uh, Capital is part of that. For me, the first thing is location. It's like, it's like real estate, location, location, location. So we didn't get to control what happened 20 million years ago when the the Andes were forming and the volcanoes were erupting and and the lithium was being placed into what we now call the lithium triangle. Um, But we do get to control where we pursue um, exploration programs and not only within that lithium triangle, but within our our address um, of that lithium neighborhood is where we get to explore. So, but location is more than just the geography. Uh, Location also means we get to benefit from a a, a government that is pro-mining, that is pro-business. They're streamlined, they're transparent. They've got uh, a permitting process, which is understandable and it's again, transparent. Um, But location also means we get to benefit from existing infrastructure, pipelines, roads, rail lines, power lines, tidewater, skilled labor, we have all of that. That's not something uh, that a lot of people can say. Um, the second most important thing for me is the team. And our project, as I described, came with a, a built-in, already working, world-class team, and we get to reap the rewards of that. Uh, the third most important thing for me is access to capital. It's Without capital, a smaller startup company is, is going to get killed. Um, that's a huge benefit of this company. The group here has raised $6.3 million to date. We just took the company public literally in May uh, and 6.3 million raised in successively value creating rounds. That's rare. Uh, These guys, this group has a, a proven ability to raise money. They do it and they generate return for shareholders. They don't have to raise money in down rounds. We've got uh, enough money in the till today to last the company through a drilling program. Uh, We can pay for our VES, the drilling, and still last another year. So we're not going to have to run back to the markets with hat in hand, kick in the dirt saying, you know, can you please help us out? We're we're out of cash. We are far from that situation. So uh, that capital discipline is so rare. It's, again, for me, these are the reasons, these three things are the reasons why I invested a big part of my personal wealth uh, into the company and then join the company to lead it as a CEO. And Brad, that's one of the reasons I believe that we're seeing some increased volume and interest uh, in this company and an upward trend. So I thank you for giving us an introduction to Liberty One Lithium, which can be traded as LDY on the TSX Venture and as LRTTF on the OTC. Brad Nickel. CEO of Liberty One Lithium, thanks so much for being here with us today and for giving us an introduction into the company. Thanks for having me, Jeff.